I'm Dr. Jennifer Rehage, Professor at Florida International University and BTT Research Associate. As anglers and scientists, one of the main concerns we have is water quality. We're all familiar with the impacts of murky waters resulting from high nutrients, algal blooms, suspended sediments from seagrass dying. A new and less obvious aspect of water quality are contaminants such as pharmaceuticals. They may not cause any visible symptoms in our waters, but they can be a serious and persistent threat to our fisheries. Pharmaceuticals are the prescription medications we take to keep us healthy. There are about 5 billion prescriptions filled each year in the U.S. alone, yet there are no environmental regulations for the manufacturing, use, nor disposal of pharmaceuticals worldwide. Pharmaceutical pollution results from a lack of removal by wastewater treatment. Pharmaceuticals that enter our flats be a discharge or leakage of this wastewater effluent. Our research in South Florida and the Caribbean has shown that pharmaceuticals are a problem for bonefish. Nearly all of 100 bonefish tested had pharmaceuticals in their blood, brain, and tissues with an average of five pharmaceuticals per bonefish. This list includes antidepressants, heart medications, and opiates. This level of exposure is extremely concerning for our flats fisheries. There's no doubt our fish are being negatively impacted by these drugs. Fixing this problem will require the removal of pharmaceutical contaminants from our waters. This will mean fixing and upgrading our wastewater infrastructure to remove pharmaceuticals and other pollutants and restore healthy waters for healthy fisheries. To learn more, visit btt.org.